Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, I just want to talk to you about something. I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about joining a bodybuilding competition. Yeah, just, I've been working out, eating, you know, being disciplined, but I want a certain goal. Something I could work really hard towards and have, um, like a step-by-step -step program to follow. Yeah, it's my first, so we'll see how I do. I mean, dieting can't be that hard, right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm gonna call up a coach, see what he says. Alright, man, see ya. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I got my cat right here. We are three, officially three weeks out from the show. Exactly three weeks. 21 days. Pretty exciting, but nervous. Um, right now we're gonna increase cardio to 70 minutes a day, except leg day. And so 70 minutes, so it's, which is gonna make my workout so bad. Carbs are super low. We're at like 40 grams of carbs. But I noticed while, like while cutting, my arms, have gotten like they look bigger than they did maybe because I'm leaner and I had a bunch of fat before today we're gonna be hitting we're gonna be hitting some some arms some arms today to cook some chicken for the pre-workout meal I don't know if this is an issue but each meal I cook I don't really clean the pan after and I just cook it right on there but I don't really care but one thing I enjoy doing for arms is a lot of volume so whenever I'll do whenever I'll do some curls you know I don't know whose training style it is it's my own I just got it like 40 50 reps obviously I'll have my like two to three sets of slow and controlled but usually in the last one I just go ham like if I can't do I can't do it like this I'll go hammer curl and then I'll just grab a barbell and I'll just throw it up and down as long as I get a pump in my arms, I feel like my arms, since I started doing that, my arms have grew substantially. But three weeks out, 158 pounds right now. And I'm about to go hit some arms, some tries and buys, and then 70 minutes of cardio. Which is, it's going to be grueling, but got to get it done, you know. Creatine, baby. Once in your life, have some ownership, some credibility behind your actions and your words. Mean what you say, do what you say. Follow through for something for one time in your life. One time, follow through on what you said. You will feel a high that you've never felt before. When you follow through on things in life, guys, you achieve the confidence, the mentality that anything's possible. One hour of pain produces. A lifetime crime. Start with regular, regular dumbbell curls, standing dumbbell curls, and then I'm gonna move on to probably do body weight, close grip pull-ups, and then I'll finish off with some hammer curls. Get good, good ten sets in, and then for tries, gonna do, we're gonna do triangle push-ups, skull crushers, and what else could I do here? Whenever I do biceps, it's like my absolute favorite. Let's get this set in. When I do the bicep curls, usually take it slow, contract really well. Try not moving my elbows, no swinging. At least 10, or till failure. And then I'll go both hands. And then My absolute favorite exercise for biceps is the dumbbell curls. But usually when I'm at the gym, I have a whole rack, so I literally go from 40s to like tens and it's it's absolutely crazy. 
Usually in between sets. In between sets, I'll do some poses. Except the goal for the poses is to practice, first of all, the form and everything. And then, and how long I can hold it. <sighs> because when you're on stage, <sighs> everything has to be flexed. Core, legs, arms, chest, chest up always. And you never know how long they're gonna keep you up there, you know? <sighs> they usually take a minute, a minute rest in between. Each set, minute, minute and a half, depending on how hard I wanna go. Get out of bed, come here in the morning. Go for it, you're not sleep. Put yourself in the opportunity to get that break. The hardest things in life are done the least. We're gonna move on to the pull-ups. By the way, this is actually like the hardest things ever to do. <sighs> I used to be able to do like 30 pull-ups, 25. Now I can barely do like 11, 12. I need to get back to it, but these are my favorite pull-ups for your biceps. <laughs> I call it that. Technically curling 115 pounds. Oh my gosh. Three more sets. One minute rest. Comes in. Confidence grows. Successful life. I was gonna do barbell curls, but instead I'm just gonna grab a plate, kind of like in a hammer curl position, and just just push it out. I was saying, saying earlier before my camera died. Um, if I had to choose hyper, uh, if I had to choose volume or intensity, I would always choose intensity. If you do less, you do the set so well, like perfect form, perfect contraction, perfect amount of reps you're gonna grow more than if you just go have 10 sets of a certain exercise and do 10 reps throughout those 10 sets and you're done. Like, I think you do need both volume and intensity because they both have their benefits. Like for arms, I love doing volume, but I still have one or two sets of like really intense, slow, contracted, because for me personally, that's how I feel like grows my muscle, uh, biceps the most. Because I used to just Grab the grab the cables or dumbbells and they're like slow and no intensity at all because I would get roasted or flamed on for throwing the weight around. But honestly, throwing that weight around for something like the stretch at the bottom and then when you just like bring it up and it's like super heavy and you feel it like. Yeah. Anyways, I just feel my biceps grow as soon as I do it. All right. Uh, five plate. Uh, and go at it. There was this quote by Usain Bolt. 
He was saying, I trained four years to run 10 seconds. Imagine training for four years, 365 days a week, for 10 seconds, because that's, that's all he did. For 10 seconds, he would sprint all that training leading up to that, whether he trained hard enough or not, that's where it would show. That's how it feels like bodybuilding. I've been doing this for four years, two years, seriously, trying to lift, learning how to, how to diet, how to exercise, work out, the right way to do everything. And I mean, I've gotten far, but I feel like I should be further, but it's all a slow process. Take it slow, take it right. Don't take any shortcuts. I believe if you can look great naturally, that's the biggest flex you could have. All right, next set, let's go for triceps. I'm gonna repeat, I'm gonna do tricep, I'm gonna do, do skull crushers with a the plate. Then I'm going to do triangle push-ups. And then I don't wanna do the pull, tricep pull downs because this, this machine's super rusty, it's really weird. And let's do probably single arm dumbbell skull crushers like this. Start with the 45 plate, do a drop set. Woo. single arm and then I'm done. What I'm dreading right now is having to do 70 minutes of cardio after this. I have to go to, I don't, I'm probably gonna go to my gym, not Planet Fitness, because Planet Fitness sucks. Oh man, the pre is so nice. Without pre, with this diet, honestly, it's just, it'd be impossible to function. I still have to go to work all day, and then go train, then work on the house, and then the cardio, I love training. I like my garage gym. Literally dumbbells. I got dumbbells, I got a small rack. I literally have barely any weights. So much possibility though. Like, I got this thing which is sick. I can do lat pull downs. And then I have dumbbells. I have barbell. I have, I have so much man, I'm blessed. Thank you Jesus. I can literally do legs. I have a leg extension machine here bro. I can put some plates on there and just do leg extensions. Oh, I could do single leg hamstring curls too. My favorite tricep exercise, I grab these long ropes whenever I have a cable machine, put them really wide, and you, you, your, your grip is like this the whole time. And when you go, pull down, and you pull to the outsides of your body though. Workouts don't have to be long. It could be 45 minutes to an hour. I started, I, I changed my split completely. I'll talk about it later. But honestly, as long as you work diligently, you're in your sets, you're in your reps, you're not distracted, you're not talking to people, it won't take you more than an hour. But I mean, if you go to the gym to socialize, it makes sense. <laughs> I am drenched. I'm working on this pose. The one you just saw, it's kind of like, 
you start with your shoulders, it's kind of hard. Transition to lat spread. Then you go bicep. Up. Slide. Side tries. Side bicep. Pretty clean, right? And now I'm gonna go eat my post workout meal where I get some carbs. <laughs> this is our post workout meal. I actually, I actually recorded a whole entire outro and my microphone's died. So I didn't even, not an outro, but I was explaining like what I eat after workout, why, and then my plans, and like how I have three weeks left. I want to restart. I've got carbs, some creamer rice, some baby creamer rice, Gerber, because it's like creamy and easy to eat. And then I got protein shake, 40 grams. So I got three weeks left until my competition and I'm feeling very prepared, losing a lot of fat, um, losing 0.2 pounds a day consistently. Obviously the scale doesn't really matter, kind of does, but what matters more is your look, like how you look, if you're looking leaner, drier, and tomorrow I have a refeed day, so I'm gonna absolutely blow up. And what I was saying, oh, biceps, triceps, amazing. I love working out in my garage. My garage is it's like, it's not too big, so, and there's no AC in there, so I sweat a lot. I feel like sweating is a sign of working hard, even though it's not, because in the, my gym, I usually don't sweat because of how good their AC is. Oh, man. But I still have to go do cardio in a little bit. I'm gonna eat my food and do some, do some things around the house, uh, and go do my 70 minutes of cardio. An hour of cardio is already hard. I, I can't imagine how uh, how 70 minutes is gonna be. It's only 10 more minutes, but man, it's gonna be it's gonna be grueling. Um, the reason that I get or anyone should get quick acting carbs, just to get some carbs right after your workout, is because your glycogen glycogen stores are completely out. You got no energy, which is glycogen equals carbs. Just think about it like that. And you get some in right after a workout, like like rice or a protein sh or a shake with with carbs in it or some cream of rice and you'll replenish your energy and your body won't feel like it's dying and it's in the grave danger and yeah bro i i've been waking up with insane stomach pains in the middle of the night and i don't know why i, I think it's because i'm hungry because after my last meal i don't get to eat so i like I'll drink so much water that I'll be peeing like three times a night and it's difficult man like I'm always craving something always like right now I'm gonna I want candy I every single day when I was bulking I would eat candy sour strips sour patch kids everything anything I could get my hands on I would snack so much now I just chew gum non-stop sugar-free gum of course my shows in three weeks and I feel very prepared. I want to get there and know that I've done everything I can in order to, everything I can to prepare so that when I show up, all I have to do is perform. I don't have to worry about last minute practices, last minute diet changes, last minute anything. I want to get there and I want to be confident, calm and, cl calm and collected. And just push through and honestly, if I win, Awesome. If I don't, it's fine. I'm going to learn so much from this. I fell in love with bodybuilding this first prep. I'm going to take probably a year break. Not a break, but a year off season. Gain a lot of mass and then cut back down and then do another competition. We'll see how it goes. This coach I got is really good. Christmas is coming up. Winter's coming up. Winter bulk season. Really excited. Can't wait to eat another a cheesecake or anything like sushi. Oh my goodness. If you've gotten this far into the video, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, welcome to my bodybuilding journey, vlogs, workouts, advice. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do anything and everything. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Subscribe, like. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna be posting weekly videos. See you next time. Uh -huh.